Well, blessed Tuesday to you as we come to you with your daily encouragement. And um, I really like the section we have today. It's about whether we need to have new ideas in order for us to have growth. And it is uh, pretty important when we consider that we're on our way to Christmas, a time where we meditate upon something that we already know. Jesus Christ has been born. Some might say that that's wonderful. I don't want any other new ideas. And sometimes we do pile on new ideas on the old and we start to lose the old. But we still need to know the depths of the old. And it's okay to circle back to the same things again. One thing I've told people is that my preaching and my teaching usually swirl around Jesus Christ and no one else. Is it that I'm boring? Is that I'm just a Johnny One Note? Yes, as long as that note is the thing that makes all the difference. As I like to tell my confirmation students, their favorite answer to almost every confirmation question is Jesus. That's because Jesus is the thing. And so Dietrich Bonhoeffer says it is not necessary that we should discover new ideas in our meditation. Often this only diverts us and feeds our vanity. It is sufficient if the word, as read and understood, it penetrates and dwells within us. And that word, of course, is Jesus. As Mary pondered in her heart the things that were told by the shepherds, as what we have casually overheard followed us for a long time, sticks in our minds and occupies, disturbs, or delights us without our ability to do anything about it. So in meditation, God's word seeks to enter in and remain with us. It strives to stir us to work and operate in us so that we shall not get away from the whole day long when it will do its work in us often without our being conscious of it. So there is things that we talk about. Now, I'll just say uh, right up front, Lutherans have always been accused of not only just focusing on Jesus, which I think most Christian pastors are focused on, but we also focus on baptism and Holy Communion a lot of times. Now, for some... Even with the name Baptist, it isn't always the focus of their preaching all the time. Because usually it is considered a one-time event. And we, as Lutherans, do practice baptism once, but it becomes the starting point. It becomes the definition of not our work, but of God's work in us. Birthing us anew. Do you ever forget about your birthday? Birthday is where you start in life. And so we mark those celebrations by how many birthdays we've had, reminders that we have gone on a journey that started at some point. But birthdays also tend to define how long we've walked this earth or how many times we have gone around the sun. And so it is with baptism, something we turn back to because it is the starting point of being born again or being born anew. Now, other Christians will maybe focus on other ones, and maybe you're one of those that like to focus on the day that you confess Jesus as Lord. Maybe even your confirmation day or other markings, like maybe when you got married or some other event. Maybe even the death of someone near and dear to you where your life changed forever. Those can be good markings and points. But we probably have a deeper understanding of them the more often we turn back and reflect upon them. And so it is with Jesus. And that is nothing new. It is turning back as much as it is pointing forward. And that's the question about whether the turning back is something that hinders us in our growth or something that supports us in our growth. 
Because I would contend that focusing on Jesus, focusing on baptism, focusing on Holy Communion, which is not only remembering the night in which he was betrayed, but also is a foretaste of the feast to come. We talk about that, that that's what we look forward to, is the marriage feast, the wedding feast of the Lamb of God at the end of time. All of these things are both looking back and pushing forward. And our old ideas with new insights. So don't think about your service or your meditation if it is still only focused on Jesus or only focused on baptism or communion or some other thing in your life. As long as it is something that is pushing you forward into the kingdom of God. And that, as I think, is the true distinction of from being stagnant or ever being changed anew by the old and sure thing. So, my friends, let us focus on Jesus, who gave us new birth through the waters of baptism, who feeds us because he fed people long ago, and he will continue to feed us until the marriage feast of the Lamb. And so we continue to walk in the inside of the old light as we anticipate the new. God bless you today. We trust that these continue to be words of encouragement. And let us go move forward as we celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.